and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a curved shadow in Adobe Illustrator. And let me first create a background but under view I want to have the smart guide and snap to point only activated. And I use rect angle tool. Let me use this color, it's fine. Now I lock the selection so that the background can't be selected anymore. Let me use the rect angle tool again. I'll go to a different color swatch for the fill. And then I add a white stroke. Let me increase the stroke weight. Maybe to five points. I'll center that. And now I use the type tool. Type in some word. I'll just use curved here and I size it up holding shift and alt. You can use any font you want. I use this Niagara solid. And I'll Align it to the center and then I use the arrow keys, put it a little bit downwards. Let me size it down slightly as well. As I've said, this is the font. Now copy the rectangle in the background. So select it, drag it upwards, and hold Alt. Get rid of the stroke and make the fill black. Now we want to give it a Gaussian blur, so go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Check Preview. You don't want to go too high. Let me show you what happens then. So the exact value depends on the size of your canvas, but you can see right here it doesn't look good. Even 15 is a little bit too high. I guess 12 should be a good value. So drag it downwards. Then right click, arrange center back. And I need to bring it one step above the background. So right click, arrange, bring forward. And then I use the arrow keys and move that downwards. So that we can see the shadow at the bottom. Now I use the anchor point tool. The smart guides show me the center and I drag it upwards. At the top I need to drag it downwards. Once again the smart guides help me in finding the right position. Let me add a little bit of a radial blur, but not much. I want to have zoom selected. If you use too much, oh, let me just show you what happens. You can see the spread. It doesn't look that good. Open your appearance menu, double click on the FX and you can adjust it. I right, just a slight adjustment. I go to two. So we're almost done now. Let me get back to the rectangle, I select it, open the gradient menu, and I give it a default, black and white. I'll add a point in the center, and I give them all the same color. So this orange tone. Now I give the ones on the left and the right a little bit of a darker shade of it. Let me go to the center and maybe I make that a little bit lighter. So I go upwards with it on the green channel. Let me make the text white. I like that better. I'm going to size that down a little bit. 
You can also size down the shadow if you don't want it to exceed the sides. So most important is the shadow at the bottom. But I'm going to keep it here. I think it looks alright. But there's one more step that we need to add. Just select the shadow, go to your opacity, and then go down with it. Maybe 50 is too much. Let me try 70, 75. It should be better. And this is how you can create a curved shadow in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.